In this video, we will use the bottom app bar to navigate inside the second page instead of having the button. Let's start this. So if you think you know how to do it, jump into this, uh, this try, but otherwise, let's go. <laughs> okay, so uh, we have the bottom navigation bar right here inside the main. After we have the icon button, and in this one, as you can see, we are inside a child. That means we can only put one widget inside. Okay, so let's refactor. So right click, refactor, and we will wrap this with a row. Okay, so if you don't have the refactor, control dot, and you will be able to wrap with row. That's good. Next step, we will copy this icon button and we will paste it right under. Okay, so as you can see, we have two buttons right now. We will change the icon of the second one, maybe for navigate before. Let's see what happened, navigate next. Let's use the notification active, but you can choose any icons that you would like. Okay, after what we will do is we will try to put the icon more in the middle. Let's do that and we will introduce a brand new widget, the spacer. So what the spacer will do is it will take as much place as is as it can. Okay, let's try it inside the row. Before the icon button, we will add the spacer right here, like that. Then we will put the comma, and as you can see, the icon will be as much possible on the right side because the spacer take all this place. So if we take a spacer, we copy it and we put it between those both icon, you will see that you will have a space here as well. So the spacer take the same space, both of them, okay? So last thing, I'm sure you understand that, we will put one at the end as well. So now we will have our two button icon right here in kind of the middle. And one cool thing we can add inside the spacer is the flex argument. So right now, because we uh, don't put flex inside, they are all set to one. That's mean they will all take the same places. But if we use the flex argument, this one, so control space and flex, and we say two by example, the first one will take two times the place of the others. And if we put, by example, a flex of this one as well, and we put five, this one is it's pretty much a, a easy, ratio to un, easy ratio to understand. So we will put them all at zero, at one, I mean. So I will remove the flex and that's it. So as you can see, if we go over spacer, we can see that the flex is equal to one uh, normally. Good. So we have add a new button. What we will do now is click on this one and go to the other page. Okay, we can go up and find our navigator that of context that push name it and the second route name. But we will try to rewrite it to learn it this time. Okay, we take the second button and try to do it before I do it. Okay, so the first thing to call to navigate is the navigator. So navigator. Next step, what we need to do is add a dot. So after, as you can see, we have the first suggestion. It is the off. So the off context. And then after this one, we will add the push name it. That's good. And finally, we will add the route name and this one is the name of the class second page and with the static inside this one the route name so we go back inside the main and we say second page dot route name and we put the semicolon at the end and now when we will click on this icon we will go through the second page that's it so that was it for this video and see you on the next one bye